What is going on guys? It's Ben here once again, bringing you another Pokemon Go car vlog, if that makes any sense. So this gym right here is a Mystic Gym. We are Nina today. Uh, we got a Mr. Mime in here and a Kangaskhan, so gonna be battling them just to show you guys. Um, we'll use our Dragonite here. Uh, honestly, hoping, well, I'm gonna hatch my 10 kilometer eggs really, really soon here. I have two of them incubated right now, and then Steel Wing, I guess, is really super effective to this Mr. Mime. I'm not gonna dodge it at all. Uh, so yeah, plans for today, hatch those 10 kilometer eggs, hatch all my other eggs, hopefully restock some 10 kilometer eggs, like get more of them, and then, but we also want to get some good hatches out of our 10 kilometer egg. Like egg hatching since this event has been been out has been really good for me. Uh, so I, can, I will hope that continues, because usually it's not that great. But how has it been for you guys? I assume, so with all the comments that I'm getting, a lot of you guys have started hatching your eggs more than you used to, so you're seeing a lot more better hatches as well. That goes same for me. Uh, we did just beat this Kangas can in the battle there. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. Beat the Mr. Mime versus Dragonite. Nice. Uh, actually, I might train this up so I can put a Pokemon in there. All right, so I almost have it fully trained up to get my Pokemon in there. I'll show you guys the starting stats though for my XP. Almost at that 1.1 mil. We're hoping, well, I'm not gonna, I, I pretty much, I don't think I'm gonna leave until I know I can hit um, the next level, either in evolutions or actually hit it here. But I will say, I got, I'm ready for the long, the long haul. It's like five o'clock right now. Um, I have my turkey and bread sandwich. Just turkey, just bread, no sauce. That's how I roll. <laughs> um, then I have pretzels as well if I get hungry. But yeah, that's the snacks for the Pokemon Go. Ooh, they have it all lured up around there too. So interesting, a lot of lures going down. Not sure why, but all right, that's good. Good, we're at a new laps then. So first actual pretty good catch of the day is a seven, seven or 733 squirrel. Uh, honestly, guys, I've changed my philosophy on Ultra Balls uh, just a little bit here. So this is my personal preference now that I have so many Ultra Balls. Before I was in the mindset of like, oh, I have to save my Ultra Balls. You guys remember back when I was hunting like every day, we did get an excellent toss there. And like my Ultra Ball count was so low, I had to save my Ultra Balls. But since I have a surplus of them, basically it's like, I'll, I will Ultra Ball it if I'll be sad if it were to flee me. So I'm gonna be, I would be very sad if this Squirtle fled me. So now I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball. And that's how I'm pretty much gonna base uh, my judgment on using an Ultra Ball. If I'm okay, if it flees me, I'll use a Great Ball. If I do not want it to flee me, I'll use an Ultra Ball. But this Squirtle is gonna be tough for sure. So we're gonna try and get a really good toss here. All right, come on, man. And it's it, like, you don't see high CP Squirtles every day, especially with the event going on, getting the eight candies. We got them, yes. Like, so, so high priority to catch anything that's a little bit rare. Hopefully it has a good IV. I doubt it. Usually high stuff does not have a good IV. It certainly caught our attention, actually. So we'll praise this, and this may be one to evolve. We'll look into that for sure. Uh, egg count, uh, or egg mile, I'm really close. Really, really close to hatching these. So I'm just gonna keep this clip recording until we hatch them. But I'm also really close to my 5K egg, so you'll see that after as well. This is the moment of truth, everyone. Two 10 kilometer eggs. Our egg hatchings have been really good. Um, I can't complain, but I would like to see like those three that I wanted, like a Snorlax, Lapras, or Dratini. Those would be amazing. So let's get into it, come on. I don't know what to expect. Probably crappy. Onyx. But, eh, it's it's all right. I, I have so many candies now. It's just like I don't really want Onyx anymore. But hoping when Gen two comes out, I'll have I'll be ready for Gen two. That's all I'm saying. Jinx. So not the best. 10k eggs here. It was bound to happen, guys. Like it was really, really, really bound to happen that some of my egg hatchings were gonna be pretty crappy with the 10k eggs with what I had because I had the Slappers, the Chini, and Snorlax already. So. Bound to happen. Hopefully we get more though, and we're getting really close to hatching these five kilometers. Our egg hatches can still be saved here. We have five, five kilometer eggs. So hoping for Growlithe, Grimer, uh, anything I guess that can be very useful. Uh, Shelter even maybe? I don't even know. I just really want a Growlithe that has a good IV so I can evolve it. Uh, but the chances of that, oh, I'm a chop. We've hatched a few of these. Um, I don't know. I, I'm okay with the hatching Machop. HP or attack. Never mind. I don't know why I said HP. I'm so used to saying that, but uh, Growlithe is what we want, man. Just, I just want to see a Growl pop up, get the candies, and have a good IV. Is that too much to ask for? 
I, I think it is, honestly, because usually you don't get what you ask for when you hatch eggs. It's just like a bunch of crappy ones, and then every once in a while you get a good one. We get a Ghastly. Honestly, Ghastly is probably the worst one to get right now because I have so many candies because that's all that spawns right now. But I will be doing my evolutions for Ghastly soon. It is only... To, it's 25 to evolve, but I have a ton of evolutions to do for Ghastly. So I think this is the last one here, if I am not mistaken. I actually do not recall. Meow. That's another one that spawns all the time right now. I don't want eggs that spawn all the time. So, egg hatching's pretty lame today, guys. Hopefully they get better soon. We have a couple two kilometer eggs, uh, the one five. Hopefully we restock and get more 10K eggs. So sadly, guys, I had an issue with my uh, Android recording software here. It like froze and when I, right as I was about to start hatching my two kilometer eggs and there was five of them. So I haven't checked to see what I got yet. We're hoping for a starter. Uh, we'll see what we can get. So we got, oh dude, let's go. Two Charmanders. I wish I could have freaking showed you guys that. We're up to 190 candies. This one has certainly caught our attention. And this one is 524. It's a wonder HP. Impressed by the stats. Dang, man. I really wish I could have showed you that. Because then we have a Sparrow here as well. It's a wonder. Defense. Impressed by the stats. Uh, the Zubat. Up to 117 candies. It's a wonder. HP. Exceeds my calculations, so we'll praise that. And then the Geodude. So holy crap, man. I really, really, really wish I could have showed you guys that, dude. I'm really pissed that my thing, uh, my thing froze like that. That is so lame. I would have freaked out probably. So we got two more Charmanders from from hatchings. So we're up to uh, 190, dude. That's awesome. Yo, let's go. This was incense Hitmon uh, Hitmon Lee. You guys remember yesterday I said um, honestly I personally do like Hitmon Lee's better than Hitmon Chan. Oh, dude. I tried to pull down the Ultra Ball so it didn't throw it. But yeah, I don't know. I just think he looks a lot cooler than Hitmonchan uh, in the games. I just personally enjoyed using this. I always picked him over Hitmonchan. But there we go. We caught him with one ball. I'm still a little bit upset that you guys didn't get to see my see me hatching those eggs because I probably would have flipped out if I saw two Charmanders in a row. But either way, still like we got those. So like I still get the candies. Um, still got to witness those or not witness, but see that. And we got the Hitmon Lee too. Oh. Good. It's a good, it's been really slow today. Like all I really caught was that Squirtle uh, and besides that, my egg hatching. And then this was just the second best catch. And I've been here for a couple hours now. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that. Yo, what up Starmie? Hopefully well, this is easy to catch. Uh, it's not high CP at all. So we'll just, we'll just use the great balls here. Once again, Pokemon Go Plus failed me. Well, user error because I was not paying attention. As you guys know, it's if, from, if you watch my videos a lot, the Pokemon Go Plus shows the arrow of the, where the Pokemon is, but that the thing is delayed. And when there's four four Pokemon on a lure, I want to catch those as fast as possible so I don't hold up like the flow. Um, so I just click it, click it, click it. And then sometimes I see the Pokemon that pops up or it says what's ran away. And Undertini ran away from me. It's okay. I checked my journal. It wasn't a super high CP. Let's check it. Let's see, I think it was 300 or what, something like that. Or is it? It's really far down there. See all the magic card. Dratini, 341. Let's see what else is in this journal. I don't even know. But yeah, so sadly, missed out on eight Dratini candies. But because those are like the highest priority catches right now, but that's all right. So we'll see if we can get one, at least one more later tonight. So looky. Look at what we have here, the Mr. of the Event. We have a Gengar. Uh, this one's actually pretty strong, 1481. Since I've caught so many of them this event, uh, I'm not too worried if it runs away, so I'm not gonna be ultra balling it. I've actually caught a stronger one, believe it or not. And hey, we won balled it here, so that's pretty good. I am getting really close to hatching more two kilometer eggs, so this time I'll be sure that I'm able to let another Gengar. Oh no, I was gonna say another Gengar on the sightings. Interesting, but yeah, we're getting close, so hopefully, hopefully we get something good out of those. So you did not miss much on the first two kilometer egg hatch. I accidentally misclicked it. That happens from time to time uh, before I start recording it. But we have, we're up to 78 Weedle candies. We'll just praise it because I want to. Uh, and then I don't know how many two kilometer eggs I have. I kind of forgot to look. Maybe three, four? I have no idea. 
Uh, the Weedle Academy, we're getting all the bugs here. There's a car behind me, but this person I absolutely saw I was parked here, so I'm not sure why he's just sitting there, but or why he went there, but Zubat. So we're getting all like the crappy stuff, but it's not crappy right now because we're getting the double candies and we can uh, evolve all that stuff. But hey, only only three two kilometer eggs, so we'll continue on. Guys, we're getting a lot of egg hatches the last three days, so I hope you're not getting bored of that. I think egg hatches are pretty interesting to watch because you have the potential Especially with this event, you get a ton of candies and offer good Pokemon. So these are five kilometers. I'm hoping, hoping for a Growlithe, but you know that that isn't always that isn't always the case here with us. So come on! Dang it! It's one of the fire dogs. It's Vulpix, not the one that we wanted. But we are up to 108 Vulpix candies. So well, that that's the upside, I guess. We can evolve two Nine Tails, Oddish. All right, no girl if it doesn't seem like he's evasive, man. Oh, I have one more actually, maybe. Yeah, but Growlithe and Grimer can never get him. It's the G's, man. But whatever. I mean, I've had Growlithe before, but not Grimer, so kind of disappointing with those. But what can we do? So got a Jinx here, CP twelve fourteen. The reason why I'm showing you it, I don't know, because it's a high CP. And if I do catch it, it ups my ice catch chance rate because I. Honestly, my ice is like the lowest count for Pokemon that I've, my catch rate bonus or whatever, but I also was thinking about this, like, with this event, I've noticed, like, uh, this park and just places around Green Bay, like, a lot more, I've seen a lot more people playing Pokemon Go again, um, and I think that is because of the event, of course, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed the same trends, like, ever since the event was announced, of course, like, you, you expect to see some players back, but this park is pretty much... Kind of how it used to like how it was back in the summer and that's what school going on not not to the magnitude of what it was i should say it's still not as good but it's definitely better there's a lot more people here compared to that so there's a lot more players playing um and i think that's good and i think niantic needs to do something with that so as you guys know it's kind of like there's a little big like dead period where pokemon go there was a lot of videos like with people making like oh is pokemon go dead even myself even our thoughts because Niantic wasn't doing anything but Niantic has a perfect opportunity right now with like the amount of players that came back for this event to like because with that happening like people still came back that means they're still interested um, so if Niantic rolls out an update really soon that is a very good update that has a lot of new features or a, like has a big new feature or game changer I think that's one way to make the experience of Pokemon better and get more players to come back um, so they, they keep the ball rolling like they have this big momentum with like a lot of players coming back for the update or the event for this Halloween update um, and if they roll out like a successful or a a big I don't know big update like let's say trainer battles or something like that or PvP or Gen 2 I, I doubt Gen 2 will be this early but or another event with like a legendary anything like that and I think like that would be good and it'll bring like a lot of people back in that already quit but came back for the event um, so they don't just stay for the event once the event's over and stop playing again so I think Niantic has a good opportunity and uh, let's hope they act on it <laughs> we have six eggs hatching and I, I think it's like a little bit of a delay like it they'll, they'll it'll say that the game hatched them but the thing doesn't show up for a while because I spin the lure I had full eggs and then I got a tanky egg and then I checked and it showed that it hatched and then like 10 seconds later that's when the animation popped up. So interesting fact, not really useful but uh, exciting news on that spin there that I just got, I got one more 10 kilometer egg. So don't have to wait forever but I have two, no I have three, I have three two kilometer eggs and oh I thought it was 150. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna, I knew it was 150 for a Magikarp for it to be a hundred percent but I, I don't know like I, I just get so so pumped up every time but yeah we got the 10 kilometer egg I, I was just gonna say like if we don't oh and speaking of eggs we get eggs <laughs> honestly I'm hoping for a good IV on this one because tech I'm probably gonna evolve and power this one up because I don't really have any good executes I don't think but what I was getting getting towards is like it's been a while since I got a well it's, it's been a while it's been since yesterday since I spun a lure and I got a 10 kilometer egg but hey went through a bunch of eggs today um, and I do want to stay. Uh, I saw a few comments saying like, Ben, when are you not going to go to Nina to like, and not just like, and go somewhere, not just in your car. I get it. Um, like if it's getting a little stale, it's, this is really a, the reason why I'm grinding so hard here is just for the event. Like 
I want to maximize my egg miles and maximize getting candies and XP, and which is great here. This is the, probably the best spot that I know for me that's remotely close. It's an hour drive, but that's the closest for me to be able to maximize to get the most out of this event. And that's why I came here or come here like every day. So once the event is over, you guys will see some variation. Like guys, I have almost a million Stardust that I'm gonna spend for a video. video. I have a ton of evolutions I gotta do. There's some places in maybe Chicago area I wanna check out. So do, different stuff will come. It's just like for this event, I just wanted specifically to come here. Um, I just wanted to explain to, you that, explain to you guys, for those of you that were curious, like why I keep coming here just for the event. I mean, I still will eventually come back here uh, quite a bit, but mainly, just every day, no, but every day for the event is why I'm here. Just wanted to clear that up. So I think this is the last 2K egg. We did hatch the Pikachu, I didn't, oh, I didn't miss that. Um, Weedles, so Weedles are fine. I get them with the candies and I can, um, and we got our Lapras candy and I can power those up. I am literally, literally so close to getting this. I need less than 70K XP to powering up. If I did my evolutions and evolved a bunch of things, I probably could get, it, could get it, but I'm gonna try and get it before 11, it's 9.20, so if not, I'll probably go at this for another hour and then head home. Okay. What? <laughs> Guys, we got a Gengar. We also have Carla on the phone. She is not currently with me. She, she isn't, she's not all about that Pokemon grind. Uh, I, under, I get it, I get it. It's, it, it's not all glamorous. I show you guys the, I show you guys the interesting parts. A lot of it is just, not interesting and just straight grinding, but we are getting close to hatching two more 10 kilometer, well not close at all, but I got two more 10 kilometer eggs, that's the better thing. So you can see them down at the bottom here, I already incubated them. Dude, I'm burning through incubators like crazy. I keep having to go buy more, but uh, I don't, this, you probably see me hatch these tomorrow's video. Um, I can't, I can't go 10 more kilometers today, but we already did like an insane amount of hatchings and I'm probably gonna go home soon, so Carla and I can go out to eat. Carla, where are we eating? Applebee's. Yes, and it's gonna be, is, do they have half price apps on weekends? Yes, they do. They oh, yes, them. every day. Half price apps, Applebee's. Yo, look at this executor. I don't know if I was a little trigger happy or not with this. I am not even sure. Hopefully I can throw a ball at it. 2,143. I went over, I did with overthrow? Usually that never happens. So, this thing's a beast. Uh, the last strong executor I caught, I think it was like 2,222. All twos, yes! I did not, I did not go trigger happy. I, like it popped up, I immediately just clicked it, even though this was catching something, I just did not know what. So this is a good catch to end the day off in. It's not likely to make much headway, uh, but it was confusion psychic, that's pretty good. So, it's, the park is pretty much closed technically, but that's why all the lures are done. But that's a good last catch. I can almost probably, I could probably make it with my evolutions if I really needed to, but I'm gonna do a few more loops and get a little bit more XP and then I'm gonna head home and then we're gonna go to Applebee's. Oh my God, guys, 1,105. Yesterday we had a 1,003 or something slow poke. Anything, anytime you see a, a non-evolved Pokemon like this in the thousands, not to mention this is 1,105. That's the strongest Growlithe I have ever seen in the wild. I've seen like 130, please catch it. Oh my God, thank God it didn't flee me. <laughs> I do not want this to flee. And if it has any like any sort of a decent IV, I will definitely evolve this. I'm just blown away at how strong this is. Thank God I stayed pa pa like this late, come on. Yes, let's go dude. That's an insane catch right there. The executor. 2,200, so a lot of big catches. It was pretty crappy earlier today, but it's making up for it now. It's a wonder, dude. This thing is getting involved. HP, attack, it's impressed by the stats. I don't care what it is, it's a wonder. That's the best tier. This thing, is, it may not even be in the 90s, but that doesn't matter. This thing is getting maxed out and evolved. 1,105, that is ridiculous, guys. I'm so pumped for this Growlithe. Yo, I keep wanting to leave, but the good stuff just keeps coming. We have a Tentacruel. 1626, I think is what it was. I didn't clearly see all of it, but really, really strong. Tentacruels aren't the rarest, but still, it's in the 1600s, and that's pretty strong for a Tentacruel right there. We're hoping for Hydro Pump. 
Um, sludge wave and acid, so double double a poison, but still, that's a, another really strong catch, guys. Guys, so I kind of forgot to show you guys right away. Half price apps for the win. So we made it back to the house here. Applebee's was really good. We had an EV here in the house. I already caught it. I thought this was recording, but it actually was not. We'll check the IV on this. Not likely to make much headway. We're up to almost 800 EV candies, and I did most of my the crappy evolutions. We got a Meowth meow here as well, and a Lapras candy, okay. We didn't even really do any walking. I guess that must have been really close. Um, but honestly, if you guys didn't know, sometimes if your GPS signal isn't the best, like where you live, if you leave your Pokemon Go app on, like maybe as you sleep on your phone, you, you, sometimes you rack up a lot of egg miles with its GPS kind of like wandering back and forth. So that's a, a tip for you guys uh, if you want to kind of cheat the system and get egg miles while you're just sleeping or something. So other than that, we are, we need less than 500, like 450-ish, 449 XP to get to that next level. The long grind, but honestly, I, I leveled up to like level 33 to level four, like super, super quick. So I can't complain about that. And I still have to do a lot of my evolutions like I stated. Um, but I think one of them that I'm gonna do is evolve one of my polywags. I have a lot of poly, Polywig candies here. We're gonna evolve our Polywig into a Polyrath. Um, hit level 35. I was hoping for a good move set. We want that bubble. We want that. Well, actually, if we get bubble, any move set is really fine. We would hope for Hydro Pump, but Submission is okay. Ice Punch is okay as well. So any, the, just the main thing you need is bubble. So right now, Nose Mud Shot. It's a fifth. I don't even know the percentage. I think maybe like 50-50. But Polyrath, really good defender. Uh, caught a lot of good things today. Like it was really, really slow uh, the, for like the beginning half of the time at Nina. Like there was nothing. Like there was maybe a Squirtle, and then ever since I got my incense with that Hitmonlee, things just started started uh, turning. So we got Mudshot, Hydro Pump again. Uh, it's all right, but hey, would you look at that? We leveled up. We got the level 35. We get 30 Ultra Balls. Um, I don't think my bag can hold all of the stuff that we just got. So I probably have over the baggage amount, you have 180 items. Because <sighs> I just got so much items for leveling up there and I already had a full bag. So yeah, now we got to grind to 1.5 million XP. Whew. That might take a little while because I've been going super hard the last few days um, grinding XP, but guys, up there now. And that's good because once I get my mill Stardust, I can part my Pokemon more. I would just need, we're getting really close on that, so that's good, I can part my Pokemon another tier, but big grind sesh today. The event is going well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like you did, and don't subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos you've not already always. Have a wonderful day night, and I'll see you guys later.